Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to make a Puerto Rican dish called Pastelon. Um, I'm going to do my version. It's normally made with uh, sweet plantains, uh, ground beef, um, uh, garlic, herbs, and stuff like that. I'm going to do it that way, but instead of using ground beef, I'm going to be using ground turkey. It'll still be fabulous, I'm sure. Um, so we're just going to get started. And so the first thing I'm going to put in is some cilantro, onions, and garlic, and a green pepper. And we're going to see how that uh, tastes. Uh, it usually calls for red pepper. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have any. So we're going to go on and, you know, make it flavorful my way. Okay? So... Here we have my food processor. We're gonna put in some green pepper. We're gonna put in about eight garlic cloves. We're gonna put in some cilantro. We're gonna use um, a white onion and a red onion because I like that, okay? That's just more um, cilantro. So we're gonna whip this up and see, you know, what that brings. That's good enough. That looks good. It's very nice. I'll show you. Okay, so we'll taste a little bit. Nice and garlicky. That's actually wonderful. My daughter was supposed to come and bring me my other ingredients, but she didn't show up. So we'll do it this way. Not really a big deal. All right, we'll be back with the next steps. Okay, so the next step is to get the plantains ready. So we're going to cut off these ends. I already did some up here because I got the oil going. So we're going to just uh, open this up. And this is kind of easy. They're very ripe, so they should be nice and sweet. You cut it in half, and then you cut it in fours. That's one. And there you have it. And do halves or um, first and then cut it again. This is for the uh, width and I'm only making a small amount. Okay, there we go. So they're ready to go into the frying pan. And you're going to brown them on both sides. Oh, my oil is getting nice and hot. Guess we'll do it this way. One more. So I'll give you a close up on that. And 
And then when they get nice and brown on that side, we'll flip them. So now we have flipped them and they are a nice golden brown on that can cook a little longer. On both sides, I laid down some napkins uh, and a plate to catch the oil, you know, so they can drain. And then we'll throw in, I got a better. So, I took them out, they're nice golden brown. And now I will take out the rest. So these are all done. I am now going to put a little bit of oil in this tiny frying pan and do the ground beef and the um, other stuff. I can use the same oil. Just a little bit of oil so it doesn't spit. My daughter was nice enough to bring me a red pepper so I added it so now this has a red pepper in it okay some ground turkey and we're gonna just use and turn this fire down just gonna use enough to make a small serving because this is a test so I would say probably about a pound this is three pounds so probably about a pound and um, a quarter would be good To this, we're going to add a pack of sasson and um, maybe a little um, garlic powder. Let's get a flavor, flavor, flavor. Not quite the whole pack. And then we'll taste it when it's done. Okay, so it's nice and mixed in. So now we'll let the meat brown. Mm. Gonna add some garlic and herb. And we're gonna, of course, add some adobo. We'll be back in a few minutes. So it's brown. I'm gonna add a little bit of tomato sauce. and good. It's very flavorful. I'm going to taste it. Mm. As I stated before, you're going to layer out the plantains. These are sweet plantains. 
it's hot. Yes, it's hot. Yes, it's hot. Let me save some long ones for the for the um top layer. And then after you layer them like this, you put on the meat sauce. And I have that going right here. I'm like, what am I forgetting on this one? Okay. Let me go turn down that TV. You hear more of that than you hear me. Okay, hold on. So, I'm adding some shredded mozzarella cheese to this. Oh. Go. The most we're going to add up on the top. We're going to do a second layer. No, actually we're going to add more beef. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm only doing one layer. I'm not doing three. So we add some more beef. And I'm going to get something else. We'll be back. So, there we go. Enough. We're going to add our egg. To this egg, we're going to add some adobo. So it can have some flavor. And we're going to whip it up nice and well. such a mess. Then we pour it evenly. And the egg is pretty even. That was two eggs. So now we're just going to cover it and put it in the oven. And then we're going to put this cheese, eight ounces, on top. So we're going to put this, we're going to cover this and put it in the oven for uh, 25 minutes. So we just took this out the oven. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it looks pretty decent. Egg is not cooked all the way. So we will give it some more minutes five more minutes okay 
Okay, so let's see. Okay, so this is much better. And now we will top it off with cheese and let it cook for five, five minutes or so. What are you talking about? Who I? Well, I didn't notice it. She had nothing here. My oven is ready. Alexa set her alarm for five minutes. This is my granddaughter, my my. Hi. Watch your hand, it's hot. This is the final product. Yeah, and I made this with my mommy to keep her. How do you guys know her? Mm. So, now you want to taste this, my mom? No. No? No, I think I want to taste, I think I want to taste a bite. Okay, well, let's taste it. Okay. Okay, so. I think we need some more cheese. Uh, unfortunately, I'm out of cheese. So we will, if we need more cheese, we will add some cheese tomorrow. Okay, I wish you wouldn't touch that. How's my Gigi is making the... Hi guys, so we're back and this is the final product. Meet my granddaughter, Mai Mai. Hi. This is the final product. Yeah, let me bring y'all in a little closer so you can see it. I'm gonna dig in already. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you don't even need stuff like this. I'm gonna dig in. Here we go. I'm gonna dig in. Okay, so we're gonna taste it. Uh, I'm about to No, dig. don't do that, my my. Come on. Come on. You're gonna taste it like a cake. No, we're gonna cut it. Okay, what? what? This. Okay. Is that is that hot? It's very hot. This? No. Okay. Oh, look how it came out. Very nice. Mm. You guys see that? Mm. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. I taste the cheese. You taste the cheese? Yeah. Do you want to taste this? What? Do you want to taste this? The bananas. They're not bananas. They're plantains. Remember I told you? Yeah. Yeah, my Gigi always make plantains and we went to Walmart. Let's taste it. How it tastes. Mm. And my Gigi love it, but when when I taste Very the good. when I taste the garlic sauce, I had to I have to spit it out and get a water bottle. Because it was too garlicky for you? Yeah. Come, tell your mother to come taste. Okay. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm coming right back. Turn the video off. So, my daughter's going to taste it? Yeah. And how do you guys know that's my mommy? Are you serious? How, how, do you guys, how do you guys know this is my mother, Takiva? Hi guys! Alrighty, so I'm gonna taste it. What's big? What I'm tasting? Right here, right there. We can share. 
No, no, you ain't tasted yet. It's too hot for you. I'm a, excuse yeah. me. You have true excuse thoughts. Me. Not that I'm your mother. Wow. Good. <laughs> Worth the wait. Worth the wait. Worth the wait. Mmm. Is that mine? No. Half? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can have half. She's giving me half, y'all. Ooh! All right. This thing is good. Mm. All right, well, I'm glad you like it. I love it. We are signing out. This is Honey Be Cool. Why are we and I made some did pasta did long did today. Did why are we signing out? Because we can't just keep it going forever. Well, Say bye-bye. Bye. Tell them to join your channel. Join my channel and my channel's on subscription and subscribe to my mommy's subscription. Mommy, say we'll bye. We'll post everything down um, below. Mommy, say bye. 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 So this is Honey Be Cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make your own pastalone by following these simple instructions. Enjoy.